Yeah, Glenda, and we're also hearing from families saying they're not being kept informed and even lied to about loved ones inside nursing homes. Mayor this afternoon bringing with him officials from the Health Care Association and the owner of a chain of nursing homes. There's no secret that it's, you know, there was hardly any testing getting done. The staff was nervous. They were scared. And it is difficult for me to ask my staff to put their lives on front line. And we can't make them do it, yet they did it. He says they've had staffing challenges, but are hiring more, including from hospitals, and paying them what he calls hero pay and superhero pay. His company owns Regency in Livonia, which we first reported had 15 deaths a week and a half ago. He didn't know today if that number has gone up. He explains why so many under one roof. There's really no way of knowing exactly from who to who and how it went. The best we can do is to contain it. Detroit officials say just in the city, 1,400 individual rapid tests have been administered in 21 of 26 nursing homes with 357 positive results of residents and staff, 129 deaths. The mayor says they know where the hot spots are because they're doing the testing. He says there's a lag in the number of deaths because most elderly COVID-19 patients are taken to hospitals. It takes a while to track uh, the data back. Uh, and as I indicated, we're going to uh, report that publicly now. Once those numbers are released, we are told by the end of the week, could those stigmatize certain facilities as being the hottest of the hot spots? And uh, we shouldn't be stigmatized. We should be held up. Now, the state medical director up in Lansing said this afternoon that their reporting out of specific locations and numbers will be delayed until next week because their systems are outdated. When we asked here this afternoon why aren't families being kept informed, we we're given a general answer that shouldn't happen. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.